Hi everyone, Vega here. In today's video we're going to be looking at Rhea and Iapetus, lost moons of Saturn. First of all, who were Rhea and, and Iapetus? Two of the twelve siblings of Uranus and Gaia, Rhea was wife of Cronus. Her six children included Poseidon and Zeus. She was a queen of rhythmic chants and dances. Her brother, Iapetus, was a god of craftsmanship and of spears and was a pillar of the West. He was the father of Atlas and together, of course, they are the second and third largest moons of Saturn. So here we can see a list of the largest moons in the solar system. We can see the famous moons of Ganymede and Titan, Christo and Io, the moon in Europa, later Triton and Titania. And here we can see at ninth on the list is Rhea. Then we have Oberon from Uranus and finally 11th, Iapetus. So although they aren't that famous of moons, they certainly rank very highly on the scales. Now let's look at the relative sizes of the moons. So first of all, Tethys, another moon of Saturn at 536 kilometers of radius. Dione at 562 kilometers, both smaller. And here we have Iapetus, 734 kilometers. You can begin to see it's quite an interesting looking moon with certainly a darker green, greeny black area. Then let's have a look at how they compare to the moon at 1737 kilometers. And Titan, the largest moon of the Saturn system at 2575 kilometers. Finally, here's Rhea. So we can see that although they aren't on the same scale perhaps as the moon or Triton, they are certainly the next level of moons in our solar system and certainly shouldn't be ignored. Now we'll focus on Iapetus, and here we can see in a speeded up time lapse that Iapetus has a huge ridge in its centre. At 13 kilometres high and 20 kilometres wide, it's one of the largest structures in the solar system. Iapetus is mostly ice and has an orbit which as you can see here is, is hugely distant from Saturn. Indeed, it's almost one tenth of the way from Earth to Venus at closest approach. Here we can see Titan and Rhea orbiting around Saturn, and the sun flying by as we see this speeded up time lapse as the Iapetus days, almost 80 Earth days. Here we can see a depiction of daybreak on Iapetus with its green colours and its white and blacks. Indeed, from here we see a view from the Abysma Crater, which at 767 kilometres is one of the largest in the solar system. We can see a vague haze arriving on the surface of Iapetus, as parts of its surface absorb more heat than others. Organic compounds of hydrogen cyanide polymers lead to sublimation and bright areas on the surface. Indeed, because of this, Iapetus has a varying magnitude. And now let's focus on Rhea itself. Rhea, of course, mother of Zeus. Remember, here we can see Saturn flying by, enormous in the skies of Rhea at only 500,000 kilometers distance. Rhea is composed mostly of ice, so it has a low density, which actually lowers it down the ranking on density of moons in the solar system. And its temperatures are quite extreme. The sunlight and dark, there can be ranges between minus 174 degrees Celsius to minus 220. It has darker areas, tholins, and tectonically formed ice cliffs, as we can see depicted here, also known as chasmata. The interesting thing with Rhea is that it does actually have a thin atmosphere, or we may call an exosphere of oxygen and carbon dioxide in a ratio of 5 to 2. And here we see sunrise and daybreak beginning over Manhattan. Beautiful Freedom Tower shimmering with glory. To the left we can see the moon, and to the right, Iapetus with its green hydrocarbons and Rhea glowing in the dawning sky. Imagine waking up to the triple moon system, Rhea and Iapetus holding their own as rightful leading moons of the solar system. And finally, here we see our beautiful sun rising through the clouds to reveal a new day. 
The moon is now fading away into the background, outshone by the star that is the centre of our solar system. The triple moon system certainly would be some more, more awesome sight to behold. Go forth and prosper, my son, said Rhea, to that son's use. I give you the power of sky, of lightning, and of thunder. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to subscribe because it does help me quite a lot. And I'll see you on the next one.